Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services and today I'm going to show you the new Surface Dial from Microsoft and how to use it with Staff Pad on a Surface. So this is the dial. It's uh, not very big actually. It's about two inches uh, in diameter and about one inch high. And it just rests, rests on your desktop. Um, it connects via Bluetooth with your Surface and I happen to be using a Surface Pro 4. Now, if you have one of the brand new 28 inch Surface Studios, you can actually use the dial and use it right on the surface um, of the device, but that's not supported, at least not yet, on some of the ordinary Surface and Surface Pros. But anyway, this is how you use it with uh, Staff Pad, and it's basically contextual. Uh, it changes its um, use based on what you're doing in Staff Pad. So uh, let's just do a few things. By default, moving the dial left or right will jog the playhead by a bar forwards or backwards and I don't know if you can actually hear there's haptic feedback that's happening uh, those aren't notches in the hardware itself it's actually haptic feedback that's happening uh, between the dial and the surface and if I press the dial it initiates playback course pressing it stops playback. Now if we're writing some music and if I have an active bar and of course an active bar and staff pad is uh, indicated by the green lines um, and if I use the dial now what happens is if I move it to the left by one notch it basically is undoing the stroke so I can undo stroke by stroke using the dial and of course moving it to the right redoes the um, handwriting strokes. Now that's really useful if you're in the flow and you make a stray mark or something and you just like, oh, just move the dial to the left and continue on your way, which is really quite handy. The nice thing is also when you're using the dial, you can press it to trigger recognition. And that's also a very nice use of the dial. And if you make a selection, uh, this is now another way to use the dial. You can transpose the music diatonically up or down. If you press the dial again, it exits the selection mode. This even works on a single selection, partial selection like that. Of course, press it again to get out of it. And that's basically how you use the dial with staff pad. Uh, a couple more ways to use the dial is if I press and hold it, I've got a few more features. I can change the volume of the surface, press and hold again, and I move to undo mode. So this is a little bit more of a global undo uh, rather than just in using an active bar, writing in an active bar. So say if I do something and I decide I, you know, copy that to this bar and then I decide, oh, I didn't really want to do that. I can just move the dial to the left and undo it. And of course, move it to the right to redo it. And then if I press and hold and go back to what's shown as compose mode, basically the default way of working in staff pad, it will go back to its usual way. Uh, if nothing is selected, for instance, it'll jog the playhead left and right again. So that's a quick overview of using the surface dial with staff pad.